Hello there, World of Tankers, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, at Rudolf's Blitz, and in today's video, I'll be playing in the Fosh 155. This is the Tier 10 French auto-loading double shot tank destroyer. However, it's not always a double shot, and we're going to be showcasing that in today's video, as the Fosh also has a single shot 155mm gun that now deals 600 damage per shot. It has much better DPM, it's got better dispersion and better aiming time than the double shot auto loading gun. So, what I figured I'd do in today's video is compare both of these weapons. Which one is better, and which one will I be using on my Fosh? Well, we're just gonna have to find out. I have not used the single shot in a very long time, but you know what? With 3000 DPM, I actually can't imagine it's all that bad anymore. I do wish that it just had 640 alpha, 960 HE on the single shot. I don't know why they can't give it that. That's what it should have had, that's what it should have. Especially for a 155 millimeter, it does not make sense that a 155 is 500 alpha, but well, who am I to say? All right, we're going to make our way over towards base A in this first battle. And obviously we're using the double shot gun because, well, it's definitely the option that I'm going to stick with for now, especially because I have it equipped. So after this, we'll swap to the other gun. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to drive right over to this bush and just wait here. This is a pretty easy spot to just wait for the enemy to make a first move. They've got a T100LT, TVP5051, which we can see right there. And, oh, there's the uh, WZ113GFT. Alright, well, unfortunately that shell did not pen. It hit him in the mantlet too, so I was never going to expect that one to pen. But that's all fine, we can just reload really quickly. Looks like this WZ might just be alone, and I think that is the case. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way over to the TVP to start off with, and... Oh! <laughs> well, I tried. I, I really did try. I hate TVPs. I'll say that any day of the week. TVPs are probably my most hated take out there, so I will always take the opportunity to shoot at a TVP if I can. All right, but not too bad. We were able to get at least 500 damage out. Unfortunately, our bat chat died in the process, but I'll take it. We're going to send the grill. And since this tank has so much mobility, it's not really a worry of if we'll get to the grill. It's just when we'll get to the grill. So the M60, I'm not sure why he didn't use that hull down ridge right there to fight this grill. But I guess it doesn't really matter as the grill is running. There's one very easy shell. Three, two, one, and bonk. There you go. Two easy shells into the grill, and the M60 finished him off. So, not too bad there. And that is a great example of where the Fosh's new auto-loading style gun is pretty nice, is when you're dealing with an opponent like that, and they're trying to run away from you, the other gun would not have been able to do that amount of damage in such a short burst of time. So we got the 60 TP off to the side, there you go, 494 damage, and let's go for a second shell, boom, 495, so that's a thousand damage right there. But now this is obviously where having more DPM would be better, because I have to wait here for another 10 seconds to get my shells out. Still waiting. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and here we are. Let's aim it on the 60. Bonk. There you go. 1579 slap. And let's just load in a heat shell and finish off the enemy 60 TP. Okay, not too bad. We've done over 3,000 damage. I don't think we're going to get much more damage out here because the grill's going to get this guy. Um, you know what, though? We might actually be able to get one more shell out because for some reason the E4 is going for that player uh, instead. But let's see. VK90 shows me his upper plate. We've got so much pen we can just butter through his upper plate. And there you go. Not a bad battle at all. We were able to deal 3,717 damage, which is a pretty solid chunk, to be completely fair. And, uh... Yeah, that's where the new gun actually feels pretty nice on the Fosh. I do got to say, there are some situations where I really like that capability just to go bam, bam, slap them and back on the cover. It's a thousand potential damage, which is pretty dang nice. So I do like that capability of the Fosh, and we made pretty good use of it in that first battle. Now we're going to swap to the single shot gun, and we're going to see how this works out as well. Now the single shot gun is... I think going to be worse just because of the fact that it's only 100 more alpha. Uh, but I guess we're going to find out. The accuracy is going to be better. The alpha is going to feel better, which it is. And it's going to be nice that we don't have to constantly poke when we want to get the damage out. But it is only a 3.75 second difference. So I guess we're going to see. You know, I ordered a ordered yes i ordered a burger and it said delivery time 15 to 20 minutes and now it says preparing my order 29 to 44 minutes breh 
Are you kidding me? The <laughs> DoorDash be like, I should I should get a free like a free fee on that. But oh well. Here we are. Let's see what we can do here. Um, we can see that the gun looks a lot weirder. This is what the original gun actually looked like on the Fosh. I think it should be a little thicker, personally. But we're going to make our way all the way into the front line. What do we have up against us? We got a Sheridan and a TVP 5051. Okay. Well, we got an 11.8 second reload. Sorry, I had a bit of a burp there for uh, 600 alpha. So not too bad. All right. Here we are. I'm just going to wait here. Now, I gotta say that the aiming time feels very nice. Dispersion feels pretty nice on this gun overall. There's the TVP. Now, I do have to be careful about the 183, because that is obviously a pretty threatening vehicle. But there you go. Nice slap. Also, I think I can actually run... No, I don't think I can run Adrenaline on this vehicle. Even if I do put on the other gun, or this gun, I don't think I have the ability to put on Adrenaline, just because of the fact that... Uh, ooh, I see that shot from that TD... I hate tank destroyers on dead rail, especially because they can just nuke you from when you're trying to stay in cover. But let's see if I can just... Well, never mind. He got nuked anyway. Hello, Mr. Sheridan. Oh, my God. Really, gun. Really. All right. Well, the Sheridan's going to be rushed here, and it's not going to be a fun rush for the Sheridan. Although, Fosh's traverse speed is not great. I should point that out. That is one thing that the Fosh is not amazing at, but... Oh, an 821 damage HE. Uh, that's got to hurt you quite a bit. All right. Well, I want to finish off the Sheridan, but I don't think I'm actually tall enough to. Well, we can get a nice shot into the 268 version 4, but I'm literally, I'm, this tank is so freaking slow. Oh my god. All right, we're fine. But man, the, uh, the, what an awkward tank to drive. I gotta be honest. What an absolutely awkward tank. Now, the good thing about the Fosh is it actually has pretty good armor. So, you can see we're getting some nice bounces from this V4, but... Wow, this tank is, is too long to fit into that spot there. Don't take that out of context, but it, it literally is. Let's aim it on the side of the V4. Whoa, there you go. Nice clear. And with that, we're, we're doing okay. I do have to say, I think I like the other gun better than the single shot, just because of the fact you don't have to constantly drive and push into your opponents. But there you go. Nice slap into the super conk. Bit of a low roll. But I'll still take a pen when I can get one. I have a feeling that 183 is going to hesh pen me, but honestly, I could really care less. Let's just finish off this player. There you go. And now we can back up. All right, we did get hit by the 268 in the back. I know that for a fact. But we're already over 3,000 damage, so I can't really get mad about that. And uh, we're just going to wait here. Come on. Somebody gets spotted. Somebody spot me. Of course, we get blind fired. Clearly, because it's easy to know where a Fosh is that's undetected. I'm not, it's not like I'm streaming. I don't even understand that. All right. Well, we got a little bit longer on our reload. Four, three, two, one, and I'm just going to, you know what? You want to blind fire me? Oh, my God. It missed. I blind fired it perfectly. Ah. Okay. Well, we got five more seconds left. Three, two, one, and bonk. There you go. Nice 623 slap. Um, yeah, I don't know which gun is better because we did pretty decent this game. We did 4300. We were able to make use of the single shot DPM. And it did pretty good, to be honest. The HE rolled really high, which would have never happened with the other gun. But with the other gun, we could have just slapped twice. I don't know. I think both of the guns are really down to user choice. That was a pretty solid battle. We blocked a lot. We did a lot. I think both are decent options, and it's really down to your personal preference. Overall, though, I'm going to be sticking with the double shotgun because I think it makes the tank a bit more exciting. If the single shotgun had 640 alpha and it was basically just the old 268 gun, I wouldn't really mind. But it's not. The gun on the tank is pretty mediocre when it comes to the uh, single shot on alpha. So why would I drive this with the single shot when I can drive a 268 that has more damage per shot? That's really the argument I've been at for a while on why I don't want to drive this 640 Alpha. So if Wargaming buffs it to 640, it's fine. But for now, I'm sticking with the double shot. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.